Sevilla. A composed uh, first half for the Fijians and Elias and Tanigalo asking them, uh, urging them to keep their discipline. But so easily lose your discipline though, when you come up against your near neighbors. That's right, his words were do not lose focus on defense. And Fiji's been playing great defense. Samoa's looks flat. The final words from their huddle came from Uali Mai. And when I saw a film right before uh, this game started from the technical advisor from the United States that shows the game against the United States, Uwali Mai putting in a bit of a kick to the head of Paul Emmerich twice, and I think he might be in trouble for tomorrow. I'm not sure he's going to be around. Well, we'll see. So just waiting for the timekeeper to instruct the referee to... Uh, Get the second half underway. Samoa have an uphill task if they are to progress to the cup semi final for the uh, second weekend in a row. Yeah, they just showed a, a great shot of Alafoti follows Suliva. When he's on the field, you, you can't count out Samoa. Certainly not. He's the strong man. Alafoti follows Suliva. Might be the crack that uh, Samoa is looking for. A mistake by Fiji to start the second half. Yeah, Fiji have been concentrating on ball retention and uh, defense during the week since uh, the two teams last met in uh, Wellington, of course, a week ago. Feet down, feet down. Oh, it's a, a bit of an arm wrestle, isn't it? Second and Fiji managing to hold up uh, Rupene Lavasa. The man in possession, the Fijian players uh, congratulating one another, pat on the back for all concerned. Yeah, Lavas is a big man, he's not easy to hold up, that was a nice nice job by the Fijians. Touch! Touch! Sango. Pause! Engage! Right, balls up. White scattered the ball first time rather than uh, throw out a poor ball, a poor pass. He hang us on to possession and Samoa uh, have turned it over. Two from the side. Fiji and is only four the man penalized my wrists no time than in there. Getting the Samoans onto the front foot. Oh, uh, next and lovely angle there from uh, the Samoan player. Not quite sure who it was, but it's still there though. Chance is still on for Alafoti. Fauci Levan, the man they call the bus. Uh, he's suddenly taken the bus to the terminus there. Yeah, he had a few passengers on the way in too, didn't he, win? <laughs> Square shoulders of Alatar, one try short now of the century. But that will be at the back of his mind. Winning this game against the old enemy will be foremost in his mind as uh, Walemai lines up the conversion. Wouldn't be the first time that Fao Saliba has told the team, jump on my shoulders, boys, I'll take you there. Conversion is good, so it's a one-score game again. And there's Repena Lavasta taking it in. And a change of direction from Walemai. And then the angle, the charge from uh, the big man, Alafoti Fauci Liva. In determined mood, wasn't he? Breaking down the door. Like trying to stop a runaway train. Isn't it just? So the Salmon fine fans in uh, fine voice now. The bounce is kind for the try scorer Alafoti Fawasi Livat. Summer come again through Walemine again. It's a change of direction. Finding Afisa Trevor in his tour. Afa Ayono into the uh, Fijian 22. Questions being asked now. Serious questions being asked all the Fijian defense. And again, it's a penalty for Samoa. Has to be taken from the spot. Plenty of life left in this match yet. Fotua Otto, it was the pass and the Again, the Samoans running the angles, the offloads, showing all the skills. Alafoti Fawasi Liva determined uh, to get a second try. A loose pass from Walema. It's yet another penalty in front of the post. And yes, it is a yellow card this time. Cynical. Cynical, says uh, Stuart Berry. I think it's Matawalu. It's from the side. Well, we certainly got a tale of two halves here. Samoa. So, one of my quickly takes uh, the penalty. 
Officer Trevor Innes hasn't lost the ball, though. It's still there. What am I? One more pass could do it. The interception is from uh, Mitili Nafangale with a kick downfield. Well, Fiji might have been better keeping the ball in hand there because they presented the ball on the plates for Alatasi Tupo. And Samoa, remember, a one man at Chapao showing and going and goes over in the corner. It's all tied up at 12 points all just when it looked at half time as Fiji were going to run away with this one. Just final consultation. And the arm goes up for Stuart Berry. It's 12 points all. Brilliant individual effort from Alatasi Tupal. Crucial substitution there by Stephen Beetham. Tupal's got fresh legs and, and he's missing a shoe. He's the fastest man with one shoe right there. He, he makes it to the try line, not a doubt. That's a, a beautiful individual try. That's the second try scored by Samuel today with a man with one shoe. So this one for the lead to Walemai. Far out on the far touch line. It's climbing. Not sure it's going to carry. No. 12 points all then. Two and a half minutes remaining of the second half. And I tell you, you better pull those laces tight because we're in for a, an enthralling last two minutes to determine whether it will be Fiji or Summer who go through to the cup semi-final. It'll be extra time, of course, if it stays at 12 points all. And that is the last thing that both these teams would want at the end of a, an energy sapping day where the cup quarter-final is played for the first time on the first day of competition. That's right. When uh, next try wins it, if they go to extra time, it's going to be sudden death. Knocked forward by uh, Fiji's... Uh, what's only, what it's only for two. Fiji is still down to uh, six men. Can Samo get another score before Nikola Matawalu is reinstated? Crucial time, this one for Fiji. Matawalu wants Cuts. to come back in. He thinks it's been two minutes. Well, he's probably thinking it's uh, a very long two minutes. It's uh, like an age Cuts. for Matawalu, so a chance then for Samo here. Walemai feeds to Fatua Otto. Rupena Lavasa, Tupo, <laughs> big, strong, Alatasi Tupo, no quarter last, no quarter given, but it's stolen by Fiji, and this could clinch it perhaps for the Fijians. This Mosi Vosango scored a try in each match on the first day of competition, while wow. Fiji would appear to have butchered that one, it's still there though, was that the wisest choice, I wonder, it's still there for Fiji. Wanameki, a substitution that Tanabula just brought in. Cheeky little kick there. Cheeky kick from Wanameki. Well, you mentioned uh, Stephen Betham's uh, timely substitution to Powell getting a vital score, but uh, Iliasi Tanabula now with the substitution. Wanameki, have a look at this. Turn of the ball, and Fiji in the hunt. Timosi Wathango strides away. Oh, Trevor Anus makes him wish he didn't. Yeah, he'll be sleeping on his left shoulder tonight, I fancy. Well, the strategy paid off for Tanavula. We talked about this at the beginning of the game, holding Wanameki out of the game at first. They brought in the speed merchant at the end of the game, the little man with the jinky step, and he's delivered for Fiji, and it's the game winner, uh, most likely. And the pressure telling on the someone try line. Important uh, conversion this one. It's missed. So a chance then perhaps for Samoa. 18 seconds remaining. Fiji must kick off. There's still plenty of time for Samoa. All they need is one chance and the ball in hand. Now then a tactical kick from the restart. Fiji 17, Samoa 12. Fiji looking to turn the tables uh, on their near neighbors following uh, Last week's defeat. So there goes the Hooter. Samoa need to hold on to the ball here. They need also a score. They need a converted try to uh, march on to the cup semi final. Spreading it wide. That's Fatua Otto. Who are they? Fawasi Liva. Who got Samoa back into the hunt here. Penalty for Samoa. He's got a late tackle there on Oalimai. Late tackle. 
So we're into referee time. The game can't finish on a penalty foul to our Otto. Where's the support? There it is. Big Galafotti for Silva over the 10 meter line. They're lining up on the far, on the wide outside. Ualamai letting the ball do the work. The ball travels faster than the man. Fiji tackling for all they're worth. There's a gap there in front of Ualamai. A wild pass. Mai is there once more. Alafoti for Silva. Don't expect any uh, silky skills from him. Trevor Innes this time. To Fotua Otto. Samoa getting ever closer, but they're still about 30 meters out. Nathal Galevu on Tupo. Otto. The sidestep from Trevor Innes. Otto. Ten penalties and uh, free kicks in this game so far and still Sama looking for that elusive try to pull almost up to the uh, Fiji 22 so a uh, penalty another one for Samoa can they make it uh, to the try line this time I wonder for tomorrow Otto looking to barge his way through Fiji looking for the turnover but it's still there for Samoa Fiji committing themselves to the tackle here comes Walemai one more pass to Tupal Tupal looking to cut back inside a meter short just a meter short from the Fiji try line and Samoa will have a start all over again Walemai can't keep the ball in place to it then he blows a final whistle and Fiji has done it well, what a game that was, Brian. Yeah, Fiji's really shaking off the demons here. They have uh, they haven't had a, a, an opportunity to best the Samoans in quite a few matches. They finally heeded the, the words of their, their coach during halftime. Tanavula said, focus on defense. That's exactly what they did there in the waning minutes when it counted the most. Pressure on Oalemai. That breakaway try then for Wainameke. And uh, Fiji march on to the cup semi-final. They've downed the near neighbors Samoa by 17 points to 12. So we uh, can hear now from uh, a jubilant uh, Fiji coach, Elias Tanival, speaking with Gareth Rees. I've got Coach Tanabula here, a fine display of sevens rugby from both teams. You've got to be very happy with your team putting out the defending champions. Well, of course, Mike. You know, Samoan, credit to them. They were very experienced side, and uh, we lost them last week. And uh, the boys just came back and really hungry for it. And uh, good to come out, come, come away with it. Great. I've got to ask you one question. We saw Saravi this week. He said he had a chat with the boys, trying to inspire them, tell them they still have five more tournaments left in the World Series. You think that helped them out? Yeah, right. No, uh, he's great with Fiji rugby. He's done a lot of Fiji rugby. And he's a legend, Mike. So, you know, he came down, never few boys with the boys. And uh, I guess, you know, go to the boys and uh, they lift it today. Great. And just final question. A lot of support for you here in Las Vegas. How does it feel? Yeah, Mike, great. You know, I hope you just can come back tomorrow and, like, finish it off. Great, congratulations back to you guys. Well, it was anything but easy for Fiji, but they came out on top 17-12. And mostly with Tango here on the loose, and he's going to meet Ofisa Trevoranis. Hello. Wow. Yeah, and that's going to lead to the final try, and the Penny Nanameki getting the job done. Fiji, a 17-12 victor. One game to go in the quarterfinals. It's South Africa and Australia. And we'll have that for you on the other side when we return to Las Vegas.